electric motor, synthetic rigging, classic sailboat, no electronics, crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. this fun little challenge that Herbie has been uh, keeping track of where we are via sextant and I've been following along with Navionics uh, just to make sure that you know we don't hit land or something but uh, he's he's been enjoying kind of really honing his skills with his noon sights and everything and uh, it's, it's been really good for him. So I really thought it would be a lot easier doing Celeste navigation coming across because I figured okay I'll do Polaris to get our latitude at night. And then during the day, I know what our latitude is because we're going due west. The latitude doesn't change much. And then we can set the sextant and then measure when the sun's at the perfect angle. And then we know our longitude. Easy. And then we got out here and Polaris is so close to the horizon that with the haze from all the moisture in the air because we're near the equator, so it's hot, can't see it. I have not seen Polaris in months. and. It's been really challenging because I've had to use a whole bunch of other stars and like really hone in on doing the noon site to get our position. So it's been tricky. So in the beginning, Maddie would frequently scowl at how off I was. But lately it's been getting better. It's been getting much better. Yes. Okay, I did my maths and our position according to my calculations is six degrees, 33 minutes north. 45 degrees 15 minutes west which puts us here man how'd i do so our goal is to get down to five degrees 50 minutes uh, sorry 
five degrees north, 50 degrees west, and then from there we're gonna come along and then right up and then here. So we're gonna come down and then up and over. Now, part of the reason is my charts don't go further south than five degrees north, so I'm trying to stay on the paper, because otherwise we'd be off the charts. The other reason is there's a pretty powerful current that runs along that coast. So if we can get in before the current starts, we don't risk missing our land because like those three days or two days we were becalmed. Uh, if we didn't have any wind and we had that strong current, we'd miss, we'd miss our river in Suriname. All right, so we still have about 90 miles south to go. So on the coast of South America, in this area, the currents well, the currents all come along this way, right? And then you have the trade winds and the currents, and they all come into the Caribbean. Then you have this current that comes up the coast. And in this area along the way, it gets really, really powerful. It's a couple knots. And down here, it like swirls around and does some eddies. So as long as we stay down in this area, until we get to South America, we then fight that little bit of current, and then we ride the current to Suriname. So that's the goal. Uh, use the currents as best we can. Uh, we might have to fight some for a little bit, but it's better to fight a weak countercurrent than to try and go back against a very powerful oceanic current. We're preparing our night sail plan, which is usually a reef version of what we do during the day. So we're doing uh, two reefs in Monty, honestly, mostly to combat weather helm, uh, because we turned a little bit to go more west than south. And Wendy's having a hard time steering us, so it's going to be much easier if we put these reefs in Monty. And so we end another glorious day of sailing. The winds came, we, it's been beautiful sailing all day. It's been great. And the batteries are now all charged up, and as you can see, the lights are quite bright because we're, we're only using the good batteries right now, and the fridge is off and we still have power at the end of the day. So things are looking really good. So when you get to Suriname, the boat will be uh, still operational and not limping, which is a huge plus. We're kind of dealing with a little bit of the current, which we were anticipating in this area because it's charted, thankfully. So we're just uh, adjusting our course accordingly to compensate for the set and drift of the current. So we're just making our way towards the border of Brazil and French Guiana. And then from there, we're gonna then switch currents and hop in a favorable current that'll rocket us to Suriname. Today was an awesome day of sailing. We had beautiful weather, but also two other things are kind of special about this day. One is that the US voted a new president into office. So history happened today and we were in the middle of the ocean for it, which is kind of funny and interesting <laughs> and the other thing is that today somebody asked on our sat phone how many days we've been at sea and i responded with i have no idea but herbie said we've been since the 18th so i did the math and today is day 20. so we've been at sea officially for 20 days 
which is just a very strange thing to think about because for us the days just kind of run into each other and each day is relatively the same so it's very difficult to keep track and there's really no reason to keep track so knowing that today is day 20 changes nothing but it's just kind of strange because time passes very differently out here the only reason that i know that we left on october 18th and keep track of the dates is because of our log because with celestial navigation you need to know what day it is to calculate everything because the sun's angle to the horizon changes daily and hourly so you need to know what time you are relative to greenwich mean time and what day you are and that is the only reason that i keep track <laughs> Otherwise, like on all our other passages where I wasn't doing only Celestial Navigation, yeah, I didn't know what day it was a lot of the times. But being how we're doing it old school and paper this time, I've had to keep track of the dates. And it's been really impressive because the days just, like she said, they just meld together. To me, every day is just another line in the logbook. It's not, oh, today's a brand new day and like, you know, what's going to happen today? It's just. We're out at sea, we're sailing, we're just going. It's kind of like Groundhog Day. Every day is awesome. And you don't have to go to work. And you just get to enjoy being out in the middle of the ocean. And you don't see land at the beginning, middle, or end of any of the days because there's nothing around. It's just ocean and nature. How do we do our laundry while we're pitching around in the boat without wasting water? Slight issue. Our mast track has uh, kind of come out. I'm making the call. We're putting up dill. Okay. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. I can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.